ATF is popo. Are you talking about the Pornhub video? What? Oh my god, it's Mara from Call of Duty! I'm gonna die in your presence one day. Am I being detained? Sorry, sorry. Am I being detained? Show Las Vegas, where bees are too scared to defend themselves with their bare hands. <laughs> Is this where we get AR 15s? Is this an AR 15? 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 Yeah. Okay. A lot of AR 15s. Very cool. This is a solid AR 15. Is that Brandon Herrera? Is that Brandon Herrera? This video is sponsored by Husk. Check out this knife. The grip on this bad bitch is so fucking comfortable. And the sharp blade ensures that you won't have to use any unnecessary force, thus not hurting your hands. It's light, sturdy, and durable. The perfect weapon to use in the event of a zombie apocalypse. The curved blade and grip hole ensure for better precision and handling to make chopping and cutting easier. You can cut anything. This squash. These baby carrots. This cabbage. It's perfect for scraping the flesh off of rotting deer heads that you find in the woods. <laughs> ah! No! How many times have I told you to stop using your good bus kitchen knife? It's high quality Japanese stainless steel. But the 38 degree blade edge ensures extreme sharpness. It's perfect for peeling back layers of dead flesh. Why are you like this? I don't know. Use my code HEATHERLYN when you click on the link in the description below. Uh, so Me Canyon started a fake business called Owen Enterprises yesterday. It's pretty interesting. So Hunter, <laughs> you created a company today, yeah? Or Alec, well, God damn it. I did create a company today, Owens Industries. We're outside of Little Rock, Arkansas. What is the purpose of your company? We're looking for non-jam uh, magazines. Also, we're looking for athletic wear for our stores, four branches outside of Little Rock, Arkansas. We got two leads from Beretta and also Winchester. So we have four, uh, uh, four businesses outside Bristleberry, Stevensonsville, Little Rock, Arkansas, and of course Grantsville. That's awesome. Would you let Alec Baldwin hold your gun? Absolutely. I'd let Alec Baldwin hold my gun. I would also ask for his autograph if he shot my daughter. I'd say, Alec Baldwin, I love you, and it's complicated. Remember that? That was with, um, who's the famous older woman actress? She's like the most famous. Meryl Streep. This oh. was, she, he, Alex Baldwin fucks Meryl Streep in that movie, along with Steve Martin. You guys ever see It's Complicated? Ah, they laughed. They, they heard that last part. She's also a Devil Wears Prada. Yeah. Uh, we would love to get her down at one of the four locations outside of Little Rock, Arkansas. Do you like Meryl mm. Streep? I don't know. Meryl Streep? She's in De Devil's Row Prada, Bridges, Madison County, with Clint Eastwood. Julia. She used to talk about Julia as a French cook. She was, uh, she's been in a lot of stuff. She's an Oscar winner, so you know, I don't need, I don't need to promote her, you know. She's already out there. What is this interview about? What am I doing? Um, I don't know. Do you think we should donate more money to no. Ukraine? No. No. Don't donate any money. Okay. Unless it's into my pocket. Patreon.com, P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com slash Meat Canyon. There's, Check it out. There's the plug. There it is. Thank you for this interview, Hunter. No problem, baby. No problem, baby. <laughs> mm. Oh, I'm supposed to talk into the mic. Sorry, fuck. Yeah. I have to drink to be here. Let's go talk to people. Oh my god, what the John, fuck? How you doing? <laughs> you brought your own microphone? You brought your own microphone? You did. Are you doing what I'm doing? Am I doing what you're doing? I think we are. I think we are. What brought you to SHOT Show? To talk to people and unify the industry and stop being dicks to each other. Very cool. AR or AK? AR. AR? Yeah. Why is the 1911 the best pistol? I don't know why. I don't know, I was asking you. I thought it was a joke. It is a joke. Okay. <laughs> Should we end women's suffrage? Um, if you mean support women because they can actually produce human beings and us men cannot, then yes. Oh, okay, that was a very solid answer. I was, yeah. I was being facetious. Yeah, you're the most I was powerful being... people in the world. Oh, I was has it wrong. totally being facetious, but I appreciate you. You're welcome. Oh, my God. If you were to go out in the wilderness and fuck around with grizzly bears, what kind of gun would you take with you? Me and the grizzlies don't need no guns to fuck around. We just fuck around. I love that. Yeah. That was a solid fucking answer. It's the truth. Thank you so much for this interview. Hey, thank you so much, okay? <laughs> All right, I appreciate yeah. it. Switch
what's your company? Uh, Americana Pipe Dream Apparel, based out of central Wisconsin. Started it two years ago after I dropped out of college. AR or AK? Definitely AK. Would you trust Alec Baldwin to hold your gun? No, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm all right. What no. is your favorite kind of skydiving content? Are you talking about the Pornhub video? What? <laughs> no, but what are you doing? Now I need to know what you're talking about. Okay, so one of my friends, they used to rent this house. They had a big TV in the basement. This motherfucker put a video of two people fucking while they were skydiving on that TV. See, now, I would watch that, right? That is the best kind of skydiving content right there. It was incredibly out of pocket. Yeah. He's an employee now, does that same shit at our warehouse every damn day. How's your HR department handle that? He's HR. We had a meeting before we left because we left our employees in charge for the first time ever. Oh, no. Same employee who just did that showed up hammered and then drank four beers during the meeting. One time I showed up to um, an HR meeting about sexual harassment in the workplace and I didn't know what the meeting was about. So I kicked down the door. I'm running late. And I was like, hey, man, am I late for the gangbang? And oh, nobody no. laughed. Oh. Nobody laughed. They left me high and dry. It was very. That's, that's cruel. It was cold world. Cold world. Uh, Alec Baldwin, how many guns have you negligently discharged so far? Well, to be honest, uh, I haven't negligently discharged any real firearms. They were all prop guns, blanks, uh -huh. blank firing. Her body chose that exact moment to randomly explode outward. Yeah, so were you born a piece of shit or do you wake up and recommit yourself to that every day? I think it's high exposure to Hollywood. Okay. Oh my god, it's Mara from Call of Duty! <laughs> I'm here with Alex Zedra, the real life Mara from Call of Duty. Three years ago. So three years ago. cool! I love that you're here. What brings you to SHOT Show? Uh, that's a very good question. Oh, yeah. I, Call of Duty. I don't, I don't, shut your freaking mouth. <laughs> like that grandma. Back in my day, I was Mara from Call of Duty. <laughs> you know who I am? You're a really hot grandma. What's your favorite type of skydiving content? <clears throat> it's all really interesting, isn't it? Can <laughs> 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 uh, you use that? I don't know yet. <laughs> we'll see. Should we donate more money to Ukraine? Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> Does size matter? <laughs> Hi, I'm Heather and I'm doing an interview. So Alex, how's your day going? That's really great. I'm not going to give her the mic at all. I'm just going to keep the mic to myself. <laughs> you can do this. I'm sweating too much. <laughs> Thank you for this interview. Alex Edra, Mara from Call of Duty. <laughs> Shut your mouth. I found Laura Zara. This is um, my soul sister, my mentor. She taught me how to like take care of dead things. She taught me how to like work with roadkill. I'm so excited I don't have to do it alone. This is amazing. It's the best thing ever. What is your favorite dead thing that you've ever found? Oh, definitely sheep skulls. Bighorn sheep skulls. Obsessed with them. I mean, there's other dead things I've found that I really enjoy, but that's the one I can talk about. Totally. You live life on the edge. You and uh, you and Brooke too. We just got back from a. a grizzly bear trek. It is suck right now, but we are going to look back on this fondly. Yes, we sure did. I, I brought my Glock 20. Bear load! And they I brought Heather as my line of defense. When I'm the person in charge of taking down a grizzly bear, that's the worst possible case scenario. I'm going to die in your presence one day. Aww. I know it. <laughs> and then you can keep my skull. Thank you! Please. That's what friends are for. I know. Why are you a bullpup? Is that an AR-15? This is Paige Ossity. I'm doing an uwu right now. I have this fellow here making some, some uwu doodles. We got lots of stuff. I've already sold some dick butts, as it were. As you know, I draw titties and I stack fitties. <laughs> and this yeah. is uh, my life in existence. For whatever reason, I somehow wound up in the firearms world. And oh, Anime goes hand in hand with firearms, I right? I have this huge crush on this girl named Heather, though. And I really like her. And I you kind of look like her. Does she have scarred up 556 five, titties? Oh, they're even better. She got her titties are so nice from every angle. Yeah. I just love them. They're the best. Do you want me to go ask the ATF if they've shot any dogs today? I would like to not know that answer because oh. we know that they all dream about it. <laughs> You're just jerking your tiny ATF little dicks to dog murder. ATF is poopo. -poo. Abolish the ATF. That's why well, you can't fuck the ATF. Yeah. <laughs> just kidding. It's not, you know. Yeah, we're so, just kidding. It's I'm jokes. just It's jokes. It's hilarious. You can take a joke, right? I never know. Jokes. They can't take a joke. No, they can't. They can sure take but a dick. But they can sure oh, shoot a dog. <laughs> Paige, what's your Patreon? My Patreon is patreon.com slash pageosity like everyone else. I am shadow banned in this world. By the way, these patches are going to be on uh, pre-order here pretty soon. Please come on into my world. Join the patriarchy where we all have a good time and no one cares what you do. The patri patriarchy. <laughs> yeah, that's the name of my, my Discord folks. Oh, I love patriarchy. this. I love this. <laughs> Demo Matt, what are you doing at SHOT Show? I'm just looking for chicks. Right, you're a wife. 
would don't probably tell her. agree. Yeah. She, don't uh, tell her. She's not right there. That's not her. Right. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's true. Like, what is it? It's okay. What? That's definitely not my wife. My wife will be here soon, though. Oh, this interview is going great. This is this is awful. I've already ruined it. Mary's gonna hate me. Yeah. She's gonna murder me. You've been to our in, house. In, You've in, met my kids. Every time I've hung out with you, I have been drinking. That's true. I have been drinking. Cool. What's this, this interview about? I don't know. Now I'm sweating. AR or AK? AR. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Who else have you interviewed so far today? Uh, Alex Zedra. Oh, I saw her today. Yeah, good yeah. times. I'm yeah. sorry. I've had a few drinks. Yeah, it's fine. I don't know how to hold this. It's go. fine. Do you guys gamble? Yes, we gamble. Do you do roulette? I don't like gambling, but like it's fun. So I'll, I'll gamble like 50 bucks. Last year we lost like $1,800, so I, I'm trying to stay away from it. Last year Cody lost $10,000. Jeez, <laughs> that's rough. Yeah, it was rough. We're here at SHOT Show with Caleb Francis. Mm -hmm. Why are you here? Uh, could you shut the fuck up, you stupid bitch? <laughs> I don't know why I bother with you. Do you think that we should end women's suffrage? Uh, there's a man, there's a lot of feds walking around here at SHOT Show. Am I being detained? Am I being detained? Sorry. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Am I being detained? You, you triggered Cody there. You, sorry. Triggered, you triggered him for a second. Do you, do you, you support like, women's suffrage? No, I don't respect women. What do you think about Andrew Tate? Sometimes he actually says some decent shit, but then sometimes I'm like, ah, oh, no, nobody, no. She wouldn't dress like that if she didn't want it with her fucking baggy pants and her turtleneck sweater. And I'm like, Tate, no, bro. No, bro. <laughs> yeah. What is your favorite? Oh, my God. We're triggering Cody right now, apparently. What is the, your favorite country you've ever been to? Ah, uh, fucking A. That's tough, dude. I think if you go to uh, Bola de Fuego, it's it's a festival in El Salvador. They throw fire at each other in Ejapa. Right? August 31st, right? August 31st, every single year. I remember. I think you two should go. It's fucking rad, bro. It is fucking rad. It's a hidden We're gem. Go. Don't throw get actual fire at each other and you get soaking wet. That was pretty dope. It also used to be the murder cap of the world. Fucking Guatemala's got some sick volcanoes, sick coffee farms. Um, hottest women I've ever seen in my life, Colombia. Zero question in my mind. I've been to 38 countries. Dude, you ask them out on a date and they're like, why, well, me? But there's so many beautiful women in Medellin and they say it in Spanish and I'm like, I love you. I love you. I still, I miss you. She should call me if she sees this video, but anyway. Sorry. Anyways. Anyway. Thank you for this interview. Yeah, good to see you, Heather. Yeah, very good to see you. <laughs> fucking stupid bitch. <laughs> Yeah. Hi everyone, Heather here. Oh, okay. Are we winding down? <laughs> this is our version of winding down. Laura Zera, Zuso Maronesio, Brandon Herrera, veteran with the sign, donut operator, Caleb Francis, admin, don't show admin. Other people are in this vehicle. Oh my god!